Hello everybody, today we are going to be looking at a Red Up box. This box has 50 items in it, so we're probably not getting through it all, but we're not going to get through any of it unless I get right into the intro. And welcome back. Now, like I said before, this is a thread up box, but it was 50 items. So probably going to be a two, maybe even a three parter. Um, this thread up box was $115, $125. I don't have the, um, the little manifest uh, sheet with me, so I can't say for sure. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll figure that out later, um, probably in the next video. Um, all right, up first we have an exhilaration. This is a extra small made in China. And is that going to show up or am I going to have to, hang on, let me see if I can adjust this down a little bit so that shows up a little better. There we go. Okay, now this first piece is a kind of a, a gold uh, lace tank top. Um, and I like this piece because, as I say in pretty much every video that's come out over the past two weeks, spring will be here soon. And that is a perfect shirt for spring. Now, moving right along, we have a wallpaper, wall, oh, wall pay, wall pay her, wall, uh, um, Wallpaper, but with H uh, E R at the end. Um, so, this is a little vest with some uh, sequins, a uh, little mixed up here. Um, this kind of, kind of, um, it with the sequins and everything, it looks like something uh, like maybe a, uh, I want to say like tap dancer maybe would wear, um, but I'm sure it would look fine with just about any outfit. Um, we actually have a couple um, little vests like this in this uh, in this haul, so we'll look at another, well, no, we'll look at another, yes, this is, this next piece is another vest. It is Knitworks, size 7, made in China, and it's another vest. This one is a lace vest. Um, and these are both, these were both open, um, so you would need to wear a shirt underneath them, but I've seen, um, I've seen people wear stuff like that. I'm trying to think of the occasion. It kind of, kind of, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can kind of think of the situation where someone will wear it. Um, Anyway, uh, before I completely lose my train of thought, we have a skirt from L. Now, this skirt is new with tags and it does, uh, it says it's from Kohl's. Um, so, I don't know if L is, ex oh, L is exclusively Kohl's. Um, oh, and it was a size four black uh, with the patterns that um, looks like a lace, lace outer layer with a inner layer that is uh, probably just 100% polyester. I had to take a guess. Um, oh no, I was uh, only 76% polyester, 20% rayon, and 4% spandex. Haven't quite, haven't quite developed the, the touch to figure out the materials just by feeling stuff. All right, moving right along, we have a reaction. Uh, this is a plus size. This one is 100% rayon, made in India, and it is another. Is that going to show up? There we go. And it is another skirt. Um, now, here, if I lift it up a little bit higher, you can see the 
pattern at the bottom. Um, not a, not, I guess, kind of a, kind of a thinner material at the bottom, and gets thicker. Well, I guess it's about the same consistency all the way up uh, with the elastic waist. Um, oh, boy. Another, and all these pieces are just going to be good pieces for spring. Now, this next piece is another piece that is new with tag. This is a Karen Scott 24 wide pair of shorts. Um, see the sticker and up there you see the new with tags. Um, the fact that this is plus size is very good. Plus size stuff tends to do very well. Um, just the unusual sizes in general do very well. Oh, and there it has the uh, tag laying inside. If, I didn't, if you didn't believe me that it was new with tags from the tag on the waist and the stick on the front, there's tags attached to the uh, tag. Where's my tag? Hmm. Um, Anyway, like I was saying, the plus size, plus sizes um, and extra small sizes, they do very well in Poshmark just because those are sizes that are a little bit harder to find in the store, so um, they tend to do well. All right, up next we have a Horny Toad. These are size 4, 67% um, cotton, 33% nylon, made in Thailand, and these are a pair of purple, I want to say these would be capris. Um, they don't quite look long enough to be pants. Um, they got the little um, logo on the back. But they might might be a little bit... They're definitely not long enough to be pants. Um, but I don't know if they're quite long enough to be capris or there's something between a capri and a short. Um, Right, moving right along, we have a loft. These are a 2T, and these are a 2, 2T made in the Philippines, and these are a pair of khakis. Um, these are definitely pants length. Um, something that, something that could be a little bit business wear, um, maybe more casual, but business wear, good year round. So another good, another good find. Up next, we have a the limited um, collection, uh, Drew Fit size 4S, 66% uh, polyester and 31% rayon and 3% spandex. Um, another new with tags. Um, so a, a lot of the stuff, and new with the, or, well, that's not a new tag, that's just the thread up tag. I don't know, uh, I haven't seen that on anything I've gotten out of thread up box before. I'm not sure exactly what it means, if it means they did some repairs on it, or if it means they, it's a particular way they got it. Whatever the case may be. These are another nice looking pair of business pants that are going to uh that are gonna do well. Um no business business wear is year-round wear because it's always the same temperature in the office. Unless you work where I do, which uh they they have weird times when they turn on the heat and the air conditioning, and so there's like a month-long period where it just it's just either boiling or freezing. Okay, up next we have a pair of Old Navy shorts, a little bit of a Hawaiian uh, aloha pattern on. Uh, so definitely something, definitely something that'll do good in the summer. Um, a little bit shorter, so definitely a little bit, definitely a little bit better for that warmer weather that is coming up. All right, and up next we have a Tommy Hilfiger skirt. Um, I actually thought this was, uh, this was one of my favorite pieces from the, from the hall, um, as I was shooting. Um, just, a, it's a denim skirt, but it's got the little bit of, uh, the red, white, and blue, um, that's 
I don't know if you'd say trademark, but that's on pretty much every piece of Tommy Hilfiger. And it's, uh, it's got pockets in the front, which, um, for anyone who's been watching my videos for very long, they know that I like pockets on skirts because it means I don't have to carry stuff. Um, but I, I just, I don't know, I liked, I like Tommy Hilfiger. I don't think it really does well for us, but personal taste. And welcome back. Sorry for that brief break. We just had to take care of a baby. Um, he seems to be going back to sleep, so we can finish going through this haul. We only have a few more items, and we definitely saved the best for last. So, coming right off of that Tommy Hilfiger skirt with the red, white, and blue, we have a red, white, and blue strapless dress. This is a J. Crew. It is a petite six, and it just barely fit on our mannequin, if you can believe that. Um, it's, it is indeed a strapless dress. It is not a skirt, as I initially thought when I was shooting it. Um, but once I realized the, the front was, um, once I realized that that was the front, I quickly realized what I was dealing with. And embarrassing side story aside, it's a very nice looking dress and the red, white, and blue, good for, good for the 4th of July. Um, strapless dress, very good for the warm weather. So I think this piece, like all the other, like all the other red, white, and blue dresses, we're gonna do good in the summer. Okay, and speaking of strapless dresses, we have another one. This one is a White House Black Market size six, and it is another strapless dress. This one is black and doesn't look like it's shown up in the camera, but it does have a bit of a uh, tortoise or snake pattern on it. Um, let's see if I can get that just the right angle to show up. Uh, nope, it doesn't look like it's going to, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Or check it out in our closet. Links will be in the description. I'm sure the, I'm sure the photos will definitely do it much, much better. It'll do it justice. That, that's, the, that's the phrase. <laughs> Uh, I swear, sometimes when I shoot these videos, I just cannot think. Okay. <laughs> now, the last piece is a Banana Republic. It is another new of tags. It is a thread up tag as well, which means something. It has the forecast, um, which you can't read, but it says... Today's forecast, 100% chance of being bad, being a badass, um, and, well, I'll let you be the judge. Now, I, I like these, um, I like these boyfriend fit stuff, although it always, it always gives me pause, because I think, ooh boy, we're not going to be able to sell that in the closet, and I'm going to get another shirt, but... This is a boyfriend cut, so it will probably do very well. And would you look at that? Um, I don't know exactly what color this is showing up in the camera, but um, from what I'm seeing, it is also red, white, and blue. So um, in keeping with that patriotic 4th of July theme, that will be coming up before you know it. All right. And that brings us to the end of at least the part of the box that I brought down. Um, like I said, there is 50 items, so it's going to be a two, maybe even a three-part video going through this, um, all these, uh, all this box. Um, so far, so far, I definitely, um, I definitely like the fact that most of it is lighter stuff that's going to do well in the spring, well in the summer. Um, the red, white, and blue stuff, I, I love. I think that once we get around to summer, that's going to do well. Um, we only started um, Poshmark uh, about, I guess we started in June of last year. So we haven't even been going for a year. And when we, we didn't really have a, didn't really have much in our closet for the 4th of July. So I will be 
I'll be excited to see how this holiday goes. Um, it is a little weird to be talking about the 4th of July when Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, all those other holidays haven't rolled around, but when you're in the reselling game, you have to always be thinking ahead. All right. So, if you liked this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Links to all those things, buttons, all of it, below. You've been using YouTube for a while, so you know how it works. All right. Links to our closet will be in the description, as well as links to all of our social media, which I believe includes our Instagram and... That's it. Uh, my wife runs that. Um, she'll probably eventually start running other things, but just, just that for now. All right, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see ya. probably put a link right up here to go watch the next thread up the next part of this thread up video um and yeah that's about it if you notice that i'm talking a little bit more a little bit louder a little bit less pauses that's because i'm trying to cover up from the uh lullabies that are keeping my son sleeping um don't want those in the background all right see ya